So hello everyone, I'm Shreyst. I'm a software development engineer. So uh, we are starting with this lead code premium top interview problem series. We'll be discussing each and every problem which are mentioned on the lead code top interviews. And also this will help you to crack your next coding interview in the top notch product based company. So let's start with the problem. So hi everyone. So today we look at a pattern of problem solving that will help you a lot in interviews. So it is the sliding window pattern. So it's a very famous pattern and we will look at its different types and how it is applied to several problems and how to identify the different sliding window problems. Okay. So sliding window problems are basically applicable. This, this, let's say this problems or this technique is applicable this technique is applicable over array and strings okay and we need to do certain optimization over a k or a target means uh, we will we will find different windows and we will slide in order to uh, get our required result let's say for this pattern uh, the brute force solution will have the order of n square time complexity and with the help of sliding window technique SWT technique we can optimize it to linear or order of n okay so there are basically two types of sliding window problems okay sliding window 1 and sliding window 2 Okay, this is a fixed window and this is a variable window. Okay, so we will look at the fixed window first and try to solve four problems based four different problems that use the same uh, template. I'll give you a template also. Okay, and four of the variable window problem. Okay, and then you will be very good to solve all the problems based out of sliding window. Okay, so let's look at the first template and the first problem. Okay, so let's say uh, if we have some problem uh, like uh, we need to find we need to find the maximum subarray sum in a window of size k means let's say we have this array uh, having 1 2 3 4 and k is 2 so for each window each contiguous window each contiguous window of size k we need to find sum and then we need to take the maximum of all the sums okay like this is a window this is a window and this is a window okay so we need to take the maximum of all windows and return our answer return answer okay so whenever you encounter a fixed window problem means it is mentioned that you have a uh, it is mentioned that you have a uh, you need to find uh, all possible windows of size uh, let's say k or something like that then you can obviously use this pattern okay you can use this pattern so uh, that is one thing okay so let's try to score this problem and it will give you a better flow how it will help. okay i'll just give you the pseudo code try to submit this problem i'll share the problem link with you as well okay so int sub array sum okay so let's say we have been given a k integer by the user and a vector that is a list and an array list in case of java okay so let's say it is arr and we have the size as given as n okay so these all things are given to us by the user now uh, the main thing is let me just zoom it in a bit a bit okay yeah so now we'll declare two pointers i or we can just say it as a window 
start is equals to zero and window end is equals to zero. Okay, and we have a variable called current sum, uh, or let's write it like window sum because we have to compare all the windows sum. So we have declared this variable. Okay, after this, after this, we'll just iterate over. We'll you make use of a while loop while window end while window end is less than n means we have to traverse till the end of the loop uh, end of the array we'll just check that if window end minus window start plus one what is this this is the length of the current window if it is less than k what we need to do we just need to add elements we need to just add elements why because we need a window of exactly k size we need a window of exactly k size correct so we will just add window sum plus equals to what uh, arr of window end correct this is done now and we will just move our window end to the next pointer to the next position okay this is done now next condition is when this e becomes equal to a yes we required this condition we required this condition okay so for this case what we'll do first we will add the window end to this window sum will be will be plus equals to arr of window end correct now we have already hit the window we'll calculate our answer because we need all this or we need all the window sum that uh, all the windows of size k and we need to sum them up okay we need to add them up so it will be window sum is equals to max of window sum and let's say we have a uh, we have a overall sum we have a overall sum also okay uh, hmm. we can define the overall sum as uh, int minimum or anything uh, we uh, not int minimum here but we will define it as zero only okay that may depend upon the conditions given to us but the, this is the general thing that we we'll use okay this will be sum correct this is done now our sum will be our sum will be sum uh, minus equals to we will deduce the window start because we have achieved the first window we have achieved the current window and now we want to move to the next part so we'll do it window start correct this is now done and i'll just increase my window start and window and that is it this is the whole code that you will need to use okay so just uh, what you need to do just go through it it's working exactly the same thing so let me just show you how it is working so let's say uh, we have different uh, we have let's say initially both of the window start and window end are at this position correct both of them uh, first window end is at this and we just calculate we just see that our window size is not equals to k okay our window size is not equals to k so as soon as it gets equal to k we just add this sum now the window start moves to this position window end is also here we just then calculate this we again then calculate this we just so just make use of this template and we try to solve this problem Okay, and it will give you a better insight of the fixed window sliding window problems. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, and we'll also solve four problems based out of it. So do like the video and we'll meet you in the next problem video of sliding. Thank you.